in the first time in over a year in the history of Isle 9, I am the first to have ever beaten the hangar in one day. What? You don't believe me? Well, I certainly couldn't believe it either until I saw it happen myself, but it happened during one of the most random runs I've played yet, because I was so interested in finding out how easy it would be to be Isle Plus Hanger with certain other mods, two of which I forgot to activate like an oof. But then, I guess that's what it took for this once in a lifetime event to happen. As usual, I made the long, harrowing trek to the generators and powered the hangar, because when you're playing for the fastest time possible, powering hangar is really all you have time for. Then I went as quick as inhumanly possible to the fuel pump and turned it on immediately. It was a little late in the day, but I still had time. Anytime you go to the fuel pump this early in the game, you're a little underprepared. Luckily, I remembered to bring a card with me to the hangar, so I was able to open up the crates and get some items that would hopefully make this run slightly easier for me. Heck, I was so well set that I was even strong enough to kill B6. When the time had come, I fought against the vicious creatures that stood between me and the most clickbaity video accomplishment you've never seen before. It went about as well as a typical Isle Plus Hanger run. I had some difficulty since the frog spawns had guns. It was even more tricky knowing that I didn't have my lucky, reliable turret defending the hangar while I fought the parasites. So I had to be as fast as possible, knowing full well that I was going to have to go back just in time to save the pump. But I was prepared to deal with that. In a frantic back and forth battle, I had finally subdued my opponents. It was then just a matter of clearing out the remaining frog spawns with what little ammo I had left. But I found out that the mercenaries were on their way to the pump. So I decided to bring the fight to them and made quick work of them with the stinger. Now I could just get the jack, wait out the pump, and win before it was too late to escape, which I barely managed as the plane was taking off as I fell asleep. What? You still don't believe me? Even after I had shown you the evidence? I'm not lying. Even my friends thought I was a liar when I told them. They may have laughed in my face, but my honor wasn't going to be crushed like this, so I invited three of them to witness that it was indeed possible. It went about as well as any other hangar run, which is pretty well. Actually, if we don't count all the times people set up battle lobbies. After all, they're just the exception and not the rule, right? We beat them all on the first day and just had to wait out the fuel pump, so we just had fun at B6's expense. Unfortunately, one of my three friends decided it wasn't that cool an idea to witness one of the greatest events in the history of Isle 9. Even so far as to get the orbital strike to disappoint us at the worst opportunity possible. So, he was just a But the three of us, after having acquired the jack for the plane, and an upgraded card for my collection, soon found ourselves escaping the hangar on the very first night. Well, the two of us. I don't know what the other guy was doing. Wait. Why do you still not believe me after all this? I showed you everything you wanted to see! Well, uh, I guess except for how. Allow me to explain. You see, in debug mode, there's this item called nighttime. If you click it, the time immediately goes to 6 p.m., regardless of what time it is in game. So you are theoretically able to play around indefinitely as long as you have debug mode activated. So any escape that's impossible to escape on day one without modifiers is suddenly possible. And now that you know this trick, you can go walk up to your friends and tell them, I bet I can beat Hanger in one day. And then when they ask you to prove it, you can do it yourself now, and they wouldn't even notice unless they were paying attention. Or maybe they watched this video and realized how you planned on pranking your friends and call your bluff. Or who knows, maybe Treebee will have removed debug mode by the time you make that bet. But anyways, if you like this video, please consider subscribing as it helps this channel to grow and reach other viewers. If you're interested, you can further support my channel by joining my channel memberships, which give you cool perks such as the ability to watch videos like this in advance, flex your emoji powers on the noobs in the comments and stream chat, and have your name appear at the end of the video like these guys do. That said, 
Thanks to my current members for supporting me these past two months. I really appreciate your support and look forward to having you along for future videos like this. Thank you all for watching and see y'all next mission.